morning everyone. This is uh, science for our mod first module in first quarter, matter. Okay. So science, first quarter module 1, our lesson is all about matter. It's living things and non-living things. Okay. So if you have any question, just uh, write down on your notes and then late uh, when we have a conference we will having to uh, we will have to uh, i will having to answer all of the things that you wrote first let us review which of the following object is an example of laboratory equipment spoon fork tripod yes you're correct the answer is tripod it is because the spoon and fork even though it is not, uh, even though it is some material, but that is not a laboratory example of laboratory equipment. And also, laboratory equipment is also called laboratory apparatus that we can f easily find out, find or found at science laboratory or in your laboratory. So we can find tripod. Next, which of the following object is an example or not an example of? laboratory equipments or apparatus test tube pencil microscope yes you are correct the correct answer is pencil because test tube and microscope we can find or an example of laboratory equipments or laboratory apparatus even though pencil we can find it at laboratory but that is not an example of laboratory equipments Number three, he invented microscope around 1950. Zacharias Janssen, Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton. Okay, the correct answer, you're correct, is Zacharias Janssen. He invented the microscope around 1950 and he is also a Dutch. Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton is also a scientist or a physicist but they are not they are not the one who invent invented the microscope but albert einstein promote uh, theorized the law of relativity and isaac newton uh, prom uh, promotes the law of gravitational motion okay let us discuss matter is everything around you so matter is everything around you so all all the things that you can see is matter even at your home school office church uh, hospital and so on that is matter so matter is defined as anything that has mass takes up space and then it has volume so let us see define as anything so all the things that you can see that is a matter all the things that has mass weight mass or weight and space which is also called volume okay so i have a picture here so this is a alcohol okay the pencil even the floor okay and then also this one is lpg all of this we can see the alcohol also in our house hospital office some of now like covid 19 they are uh, the alcohol is the one or the main uh, use for disinfect in bacteria okay so let's move on matter has a four state or also called four piece of matter okay honestly uh, we all know that we have three but sooner it has a four okay so the first one is solid solid is it is a relative rigid definite volume and shape what do you mean definite and volume and shape definite volume and shape there is a uh, volume and shape that uh, exactly okay example of this rock the things that you can uh, hold on like i mean you can uh, lift it ball pen pen matches alcohol face mask gloves those are the example of solid and the next state is liquid so it has a definite volume but able to change shape by flowing 
So, example of this, the alcohol, uh, the coffee, the vinegar, the soy sauce water, uh, the oil. So, those are the kinds of liquid. Okay? Next, gases. Gases, it has no definite volume or shape. So, the example of this is helium, hydrogen, uh, oxygen, the air that we breathe in. Okay, all kinds of, but there is a no definite volume or shape. Wala, there is no definite volume, there is no exact volume. Okay? And the last states, plasma. It is similar to gas that electrons are free in a cloud rather than attached to individual atoms. So, it's also called the last states for gases. It is because of the ionization. Okay? So, it is only an added information okay so it's just like a trivia that there is or there are or there are four states of matter identify the following statement so we identify the meaning then i we read the meaning and identify what the words being described so it has a definite volume but able to change shape by flowing the answer is Yes, you are correct. Liquid. Next one. It has a no definite volume or shape. So, the correct answer is gas. You are correct. Third question. It's similar to a gas that electrons are free in a cloud rather than attached to an individual atoms. Go. Yes, you are correct. The answer is plasma. It is defined as anything that has mass and takes up space. Or it has a volume. Okay? What is that? Yes, you are correct. The answer is matter. The last question it is relatively rigid, definite volume and shape. Go. The answer is solid. Yes. If you enjoy this module, uh, this module for the lesson for our lesson one. If you have uh, comments, suggestions, or uh, clarification, you just take down notes and we will answer i will answer i will lead the one who answer it when we have do uh, we do a conferencing right good job and thank you